While it may look like the folks behind me are simply planting a garden, this is all actually part of a grassroots effort that was started by a girl who was only nine years old when it all began. That nine-year-old girl is now 15, but Katie Stagliano still remembers the beginning of her story. I grew a 40-pound cabbage in the third grade, and I donated it to a soup kitchen where it helped to feed 275 people. And that 40-pound cabbage planted a seed. After seeing how many people my one cabbage helped to feed and all the people who relied on the soup kitchen for what could be their only meal of the day, I thought I want to do more to help these people. So I decided to start a garden in my backyard so I would have more fresh vegetables to donate to them. And that's what began Katie's Crop. Since then, Katie's crops has literally grown leaps and bounds. Katie's school donated a plot of land about the size of a football field, and support started pouring in from the community. One huge source of support is Rollins Sons Farm in Pelion. They partnered up with Katie's Crops to provide exposure and resources for the cause, even partnering up with Harvest Hope Food Bank, where Katie's Crops Camp installed a garden on Tuesday. Being a partner here with Harvest Hope Food Bank, uh, what they need the most is fresh fruit and vegetables because that is what uh, you know the, the needy would like to eat as much as anything. But Katie's crops is reaching places much farther than Columbia. I started getting emails and calls from kids all across the United States who had heard about what I was doing and they wanted to help too and they wanted to start gardens and donate the produce. So I started giving out grants to other kids and that is how we were able to achieve 79 vegetable gardens in 29 states across the United States. All going to prove that you don't have to be an adult to make a huge impact in people's lives. In Columbia, Stephanie Helling, Watch Fox News.